Welcome to the latest tour of the Star in Frisco. The facility is set to open in June, but we're getting an inside look now at the latest developments and progress in Frisco. Well, I cannot believe we are standing in the plaza at the Ford Center at the Star in Frisco. Charlotte Jones Anderson joining us to give us an exclusive tour. Can you already see this plaza coming to life? I tell you what, every day that you're out here and you look around and you see the equipment moving around that it really is starting to take shape. And as you said, we're standing on what will be a turf field for all the kids to come play, but you're right in the epicenter of what the star is all about. And this is where high school football meets professional football. So just imagine on Friday night, the high school bands marching down Star Boulevard ending with a great pep rally right here in the plaza. And on these big tall towers are giant video screens because you know how much we love our video oh, boards. Oh, absolutely. We got to see everything bigger. Everything. And so you'll have uh, the starting lineup of each high school team on those large video vertical boards. And right in the end zone is a great big video board that you'll see the game going on out in the plaza while it's taking place inside. And of course, there's another one inside too. So plenty of media to go around. Well, we are just getting started. Let's go inside. Let's take a look. We are now in the up-to-date war room. This is where the draft will be happening next year and no more boards and, and markers or anything. Magnets <laughs> and all, all of that. I mean, no. this is probably the most tech technologically advanced place in our building and probably the most uh, upgraded part of our building from Valley Ranch as, as it is today because now as you said no more magnets you know no more flow charts no, none of that now everything is going to be at the touch so uh, the walls that you see right here on each side will be all touchscreen technologies. The technology is going to increase not only for the coaches but for the players too from the weight room to the locker room to the training room, the state-of-the-art technology will change the way the Cowboys do business on a daily basis. We are standing in front of what looks to be a beautiful team meeting room, sloped up, it's just huge. It is huge, another huge change from Valley Ranch. And this is exactly what you said, it's the team meeting room. So this is a place where everybody comes together, they hear from Coach Garrett, they, they get their marching orders and then off they go. And I think one, probably one of the most unique things about this facility as compared to Valley Ranch is that we're stacked. At Valley Ranch, everything is spread out, but here, football and the players are on the bottom and the coaches are actually above them. So when they come into this meeting room, then they will exit up. And when they go up, they will go out into all the other individual team meeting rooms from there. So, you know, all the weight room, locker room is on the first floor, and then all the meeting space, this is the connector. So this is really the hub of, of how the players move about from the top floor to the bottom. So right in between the team meeting room and the player entrance, down in the middle of the hall is the weight room, which is where we are right now. This huge. Is it. This is it. It is huge. And, you know, I think when you look about in terms of size, what's so interesting is that when we got here in 1989, the weight room out at Valley Ranch was actually outside and it was just a simple canopy that covered it. Well, we took an initial step there, which we thought was a big one, and then closed it and put air conditioner in there. Right. <laughs> and made it just slightly bigger. Well, now we've kind of amped that up yet another level, as you can see. Just that a this tad. Is, this is quite larger than what we have at Valley Ranch, but you know, with, with the new technology and equipment and everything here, I, you know, I think this is certainly where it all starts. This is where the hard work begins. So, as, as Coach Garrett says, no excuses. So directly across from the weight room, we see this huge curved wall that is the outside of the locker room. What is this going to look like? So as you can imagine, you see the curve, so it's in the shape of a football, a little bit abstract, so but the shape awesome. of a football. And this is really going to be amazing. It's all blue glass. And on it, of course, it says Dallas Cowboys World Champions and the five Super Bowls that we have won. And there's room to grow. Of course there is. So let's go into the locker room. So the entire yes. thing is shaped as a football inside yes, here. Yes, so it's all curved and as we peek around the corner, um, you'll take a look inside okay. and see how big the space actually is. Probably without a locker actually set up in it, you can't get the full depth, 
but uh, there will be 70 lockers in this space. And, and I think what's so interesting about the lockers as they differ from Valley Ranch is that the shoulder pads have their own HVAC unit. So all of this, you know, is, is an eye towards making sure that we have the greatest technology that's there, right. both to dry the shoulder pads and the helmet and to keep everybody as, as, as safe as, as we can, but also to keep the equipment performing at its peak performance. But as you can tell, I mean, this is, this is very different than Valley Ranch. So there's, there's a lot of amenities here and hopefully a lot of um, aspiration for our own players. The Ford Center is set to open August 27th and it will be filled with local Frisco high schools every Friday night this fall. The center will seat 12,000 people and double as an indoor for the Cowboys. What is so interesting about this press conference area is that this is the lobby and this is glass. People can see in Jason Garrett giving a press conference. Yeah, I know. You know, that was so successful at AT&T Stadium that everybody in the post-game press conference when you were down in that club had their nose pressed up against the glass. They wanted to see what was going on. So we took that same concept and said, let's bring Coach out here and let everybody that passes by and the people that are in this building have a chance to get a glimpse of the post-game press conference. And nearby in the atrium, a sure fan favorite, the five Super Bowl trophies will be on display for all to see. Bring your phones. Pictures and posts are definitely allowed. Keep checking back here for more updates on the star in Frisco, the future home of the Dallas Cowboys.